I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get diabetes and then die. Shabooby. Hello. Hi, my name is Darian. I am going to be opening up. Oh, it, that has my address on it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be showing that. So I told my brother that I really love snacks and I would love to try snacks from all over the world because I'm a big fan of snacks and the world. <laughs> so let's let's open this bad boy up, shall we? These snacks are expired. What? Yeah. Just kidding. They aren't. It's Canada. So full disclosure, I did actually open it already. I did open the box, but I saw that it was from Canada. And I was like, I want to open this either on stream or in a video. So I saved it. All I did was I saw that it was from Canada. Oh, Canada. Pretty sure that's how the national anthem goes. A <laughs> maple syrup and moose. And hockey and poutine. Yes, that's the one. Canada's official phone number is 1-800-O-CANADA. <laughs> there are places in Canada that have less gravity than the rest of the world. Canada's make-believe. That that proves it right there. It doesn't actually exist. Oh my god, it's gonna it's all gonna fall out. Oh no. So the first thing I see here is Doritos, obviously. Zesty cheese. Fromage mordant. Because you know, they spell they speak French in Canada for all of you uncultured people. Just letting you know. Okay, let's try them. Zesty cheese Doritos. It tastes like nacho cheese Doritos, but without the spicy, without the taco seasoning or whatever. Those are good. I would eat those. I like the two flavors that we have. Well, I, I think we have more, but I like nacho cheese and Cool Ranch. I think they're both pretty good, but I would probably buy these. I like them. Beck Cola? Put it in the freezer. And do the rest. I'm gonna forget about it and it's gonna explode in my freezer. There's so much in here. There's so much! Oh my god, okay, so I'm gonna- what is this? Tangy Zangy Twisties. Sour Strawberry Flavored. <gasps> I'm notoriously bad at opening things. <gasps> I got it. It's just the worst way to open something, you know? Why? I don't- I don't think I like that. <laughs> it's like, um, you know those sour straws? It's like drier than that. It's really like dry. My mouth feels dry after eating that. I'm not a fan. Mm -mm. Sugar, corn syrup. Great. All things that my body needs to be healthy, you know. Sugar and corn syrup, those are the food groups. Oh. Oh. Oh my God, there's like 10 candy bars. There's like 10 candy bars in here. Like 10 full-size candy bars at the bottom of this. Whoa. I can't do all of this. I didn't think it was gonna be this much. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you guys. So there was that top layer that I showed you with all the bags of, of chips, right? Okay, well underneath of that, there's all of this. Bruh, are you sure about that? Now, if, if, uh, if I hadn't eaten in three days, maybe. Let's try one of these small things. What's this? Thrills. It still tastes like soap? Why? Why? Wait, it's what? gum that tastes like what? soap? Why? Why? Uh, it's, it's, it's all it says is it still tastes like soap. Why is that a good thing? They ask you how you are, you just have to say- Oh my god, oh my god. Bleh. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does this exist? Bleh. 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 No, no, it tastes like how your grandmother's bathroom would smell. Like potpourri. That's what it tastes like. Why? Why? Why do people like to eat soap? It's peanut free, by the way. Wow. Thank God. Oh, I've always wanted to try these. Ruffles All Dressed. I've never had All Dressed seasoning and I really wanted to try it. Mm. 
That's so good. This is delicious. It tastes like ketchup and I don't even like ketchup. I don't even know, it's like salty and ketchupy and like kind of like ranchy. Maynard's fuzzy peach. Oh, this looks like, looks like it has a little thing inside. Fruit chew things, yeah. Wow. Whoa. That's so peachy. That's delicious. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. But I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, oh, well, you know, it's overly sweet. Like, nah, dude, give me, give me all the sweet. It's not like a high chew. It has like a citric acid coating on the outside, sugar coating. It's really sweet. And then the inside is like very chewy, very like, yeah, it's a good like fruit snack. Oh, there's another Maynard's thing here. It's called Juicy Squ Juicy Squirts Berry. Oh, these ones are smaller. This looks like the thing that was inside of the other peach thing. It's like a gusher. It like gushes in your mouth. It's like what a gusher wishes it was. Gotta hand it to Canada on this one. Maynards are good. Macintoshes? Yeah, it's a very nostalgic color palette. Oh, I don't know what I was expecting. I know it says toffee on there, but I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. It's just like a solid bar of toffee. Are you supposed to bite on it? I'm gonna break a tooth on this bitch. I'll just suck on it. <laughs> that's, that's what all the Canadians are doing. They're just sitting there at their desks. They're like, <laughs> Eating their Macintoshes. I mean, it tastes good. I just can't fucking eat it. Ah, it's sticking in my teeth. You know, in the olden days, they used to make things really difficult to eat because you didn't have a lot of food. So they had to make it more difficult for you to make it last longer, you know? There wasn't a lot of entertainment back then, so they used food as entertainment. So they're like, okay, let me make this toffee take you eight hours to eat this toffee. You don't have to have a hobby. You just eat the toffee all day. Just suck on the toffee. <laughs> Okay, there's some raisins that have been staring at me since I opened this box and I need to eat them because I don't like raisins. So I need to get it out of the way. Glossette raisins, best ever. Apparently they're the best ever. It's just like, it's just a little chocolate covered raisin. It's adorable though. Mm -mm. I don't like raisins. <laughs> That's how you combat your enemies. You eat them. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just <gasps> There's ketchup chips? <laughs> I'm gonna try some I'm gonna try some ketchup tip. Ketchup tip. Ketchup ketchup chips. So it's old Dutch, which I feel like this brand I've seen it before. And I should <laughs> I don't I literally sound like the pickiest person on planet Earth, but I don't really like ketchup that much. Not a huge fan, but I liked it in the, the, the all dressed. Is that what it's called? Those are good. What can I say? I'm a sucker for chips. I love chips. We have Miss. Oh, we have a candy bar that's called Mr. Big. Would you like a Mr. Big? The end is kind of squished. Is it supposed to be? Okay. It's getting dirtier and dirtier the more I talk. So let's just. It's such a, like, a specific length, you know? Is it supposed to be a penis? I'll just, I just want you to see something. It's oozing. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my god, what is in that? It's like... There's so many like textures going on. There's like the gooiness of the caramel. There's like the crispy crunchity of like the rice crispiness and the chocolate is like nice and thin. I'm going to eat you, Mr. Big. Ugh, I'm so full. Dill pickle, popcorn. Cor Cornichon Al Alanith, Alan Alanith Morissette. It's like rain. It was prepared in a nut-free environment. No, it was prepared in No Nut November. So this is 
dill pickle popcorn. It tastes like grass. I feel like I've had this before. I don't know how I feel about this. That's why I keep reaching for more because I don't know how I feel about it. It's weird. It kind of tastes like grass, but I kind of want to keep eating it. There's something about like the dill that's like, it's almost like a sour cream. <laughs> Eh, it's good. It kind of tastes like dill, kind of. Let's try this. This looks refreshing. It's an arrow. I thought it would be matcha when I saw the green. Mm. Oh my god. It's like a thin mint. This would be delicious if you put it in the refrigerator or even the freezer. Oh, it's even delicious now. I'm not even a huge uh, peppermint person. This is good. I like it. All right, more chips, please. Ooh, there's some cheesies. Hawkins, real cheddar cheese. Cheesies. Yo, grab me some cheesies. Crunchy. Croissant. Is that how you say crunchy in French? Croissant. They just look like cheese puffs. They're fucking Cheetos. It's fucking Cheetos. No, this is, okay. I'll give it a second chance. Here's one that's like thicker than a, than a normal Cheeto, right? We'll try one of these. It's drier. I don't know why, but it tastes drier. You know, like after you eat it, it like dries out your mouth. I feel like regular Cheetos have a bit more, like maybe it's oil. Maybe this is healthier. And I'm just like, a, like I don't like it because it's not greasy American garbage. It's more crackery. Yes, it's, yes, exactly. It's more crackery. Nice nails. Thank you. Thank, thank God someone fucking noticed. Aren't they gorgeous? Thank you. I threw my cheesies down in anger. I was like, finally, someone noticed. Oh my God, I'm just, I'm just surrounded. I'm surrounded by open packages of food that I have already started to eat. Okay, let's try some Smarties. I guess they're different than American Smarties. Hello? Hello? How are these different than regular Smarties? Sharing with your children, only pour a small handful. They're like, please, portion control. Wait, what the fuck? This is like an M&M. This is like an M&M. What? Smarties internationally are chocolates? We got the shitty Smarties out of the entire world. We got the shitty ones. Wow. wow. Uh, let's see, Wonder Bar. It's a Cadbury product. Wonder Bar with a little Viking helmet. A peanut butter caramel experience. It's like a Butterfinger, but with caramel. I don't think Butterfingers have caramel, do they? That's really good. I've liked pretty much everything that I've opened so far, except for the soap gum and the the twisties the sour twisties let's try these this is another maynard's so we had the peach fuzz and the the berry ones that were like the gushers so this is that same brand maynard's and it looks like they've paired with sour patch to make maynard's sour patch kids sour cherry blasters that's yummy but for me it went sweet and then sour and it says it's sour than sweet. So I didn't I didn't get the experience that I signed up for, so I would like to formally issue a complaint to Maynard's and Sour Patch Kids. I specifically wanted sour than sweet. This is Josh, Josh Louis. It looks kind of like a Swiss roll or like a cupcake type thing. Camera, notice me, Senpai. Senpai, notice me. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, there we are. Is this one big thing or two? Oh my. Kind of coming apart in there. It's like a, it's like a little Debbie product or like um, Hostess, something of that nature. It looks really good. It looks like a giant cake. Tastes like a cupcake. Yeah, it's good. It just tastes like a Hostess cupcake. That's pretty much just what it is. Crispy crunch. 
Oh, it comes in like a little tray. Oh, go get the drink. It has been almost 40 minutes. But Krispy Crunch, it's good. It's got that like little bit of that rice in the middle that's like crunchy and the chocolate's really good. It's delicious. It's very good. Now we're gonna try the cola. Is this a twist off? Do I shake it? That's probably not a good idea. It's <gasps> oh, what is this? I think it's maple syrup. Maple syrup cola, maybe? It says owl syrup with maple syrup. Beck cola with maple syrup. Mmm. Especially since I've been having all this like very very sweet stuff like these literal candy bars going to this is like the maple is very sweet but it's kind of like chill i should drink this i'm gonna drink it i'm gonna knock it over if i put it there i'm gonna put it here you guys remind me that this is here okay next up we have humpty dumpty ringolos bbq <gasps> oh they're so cute they're like little spaghettios oh okay oh what does that taste like it's very mild it's not like a super strong chip the barbecue is also very mild usually barbecue chips are like either really tangy or really sweet but it's like a very mild barbecue it's more of like a smoky barbecue than like a tangy barbecue it seems like in canada <clears throat> in canada for chips like they go for more of like a ketchup tangy rather than a barbecue tangy this is good it's like very smoky kind of like oniony almost would I eat them again? Probably not. They're kind of bland, but I think this would be good for like when you're drinking. This would be good to have in like a little dish as you're like munching, as you're drinking, to kind of have something on your stomach. Okay, we have two candy bars left. We have O. Henry, and we also have Coffee Crisp, which sounds really good. I think I'm gonna go for that one first. Coffee Crisp. 100% sustainably sourced cocoa. I predict this is gonna be a crunchy, light wafer type deal. Just based on like how heavy it is. Feels very light. Oh my God, it's so thick. I guess it tastes like coffee. It tastes kind of more like a, like a caramel. Oh my God, did I just have chocolate in my teeth? Oh my God, that's my worst nightmare. It tastes more like a, like a caramel mocha type coffee drink than like just straight like espresso flavor to me. I mean, shit, maybe there is espresso and I'm just a, an idiot. Maybe my tongue don't work no good. It's fine. I wouldn't I wouldn't get it again. It's kind of meh. Compared to like the Wunderbar, no. Doesn't even stand a chance. Not even for a moment. Definitely would say Wunderbar is still the best candy bar that I've tried today. Mr. Big was pretty good too. Mr. Big was pretty big. Let's try this one. Ooh, super passion flaky. Let's say apple raspberry. I'm very excited about this. Oh. Oh, it's very sticky inside. <sighs> I don't think I like artificial raspberry. Oh, it's so it's so sweet. Not in a good way either. Oh. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like that. There's like a glaze that's all around the outside that is just so sweet. Not even like, like I said earlier, I love sweet stuff, but it's like not a good sweetness. It's like frosting that's way too sweet. The inside is okay, but I don't think I like artificial raspberry and it's apple raspberry. The apple part is good because it kind of tastes like an apple pie, but the raspberry just kind of tastes, it just tastes too artificial to me. It's, it's the same thing that happens with raspberry flavored vodka to me. I don't know why, just that artificial raspberry just tastes like chemicals. We have O. Henry. O. Henry. Crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge, creamy caramel covered in a chocolatey coating. Yep, that's good. It's kind of like a Snickers, but without the what's that stuff like the nougat it doesn't have nougat that's good oh henry you have impressed me yes you have henry we have reached the final item in the box this is our maple syrup lollipop 
has a little reflective thing. Gourmet, 100% pure maple syrup. And that's an empty box, baby. Uh, how do I? I need, I need a, a parent. I need a parent or guardian to help me. Help! <laughs> I can't open it. Sorry, I got mad. Let's try again. I just, how do I? Do I just? Oh, I pop it this way, huh? That was probably infuriating for some people to watch me do that. <laughs> Look at our little cutie pie. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's exactly what you would expect. It's delicious. It tastes like maple syrup. It's sweet, it's delicious. How could you say that Canadian maple syrup is bad? That would be so offensive. That's like saying our McDonald's is bad. It's like, bro, read the room. Your drink's back there. Oh yes, it is. I have my maple soda and my maple lollipop. I'm Canadian for the day. Uh, my desk is overrun with treats and snacks. You can kind of see it's overflowing here. So uh, I guess I got to get cleaned up. Dude, I'm gonna be living the life for the next few days. Every time I get high, I'm like, oh, I can grab a little snack. I'm gonna nibble on this toffee for the rest of my life. <laughs> One day I'll finish it. <laughs> I'm trying to clip all of these together. <laughs> it has been done. The clip. The chip clip. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get diabetes and then die. I wonder if there was like a quantitative amount of sugar that I just consumed. I mean, there is obviously. <laughs> um, Mr. Big is a Mr. Big place in my heart. <laughs> Here's my box. All right, that has been the snack crate opening. The end. Shout out to my brother for getting me the snack crate. It was awesome and a lot of the snacks are very delicious and i'm gonna be very sad when i can't get them anymore i'm gonna have to import some all dressed into my mouth from canada thank you daddy trudeau shout out If I had to do a snack crate from Mexico, it would destroy me. It would destroy my organs, all of them. They would be lit on fire and I would explode from the inside out.